yes, 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 I know that Kevin is sometimes a thorn in my side. He's always trying to pull some trick. We constantly get a beating because of him. But why do adults have such a big responsibility? If only some miracle would happen and I could be a child for just a day. Well, it'd show what is what to all the moralists. Kevin, you shouldn't complain about the maths teacher. She explains everything very clear. You just need to listen carefully. No, me, I disagree with you. She's speaking about me. You're telling tales, Kevin. She treats everyone the same. You're just being lazy. Hey, look, someone left the ball here. No, Kevin, don't you dare kick it. I forbid you. I bet I can kick it to the basketball court. Kevin, no, I beg you, don't do this. Don't be afraid. It'll be fine. I've already done that. Uh-oh. What are you doing here, you parasites? You ruined school property. You two, hurry up. I'll take you to the principal. You'll be punished. Damn, Kevin, I want you. What have you done? No, we'll get here by a math teacher and then another from the principal. I'm sorry, Mia. I didn't expect that. Move on. Kevin, Mia, I didn't expect this from you. No, oh, we're so sorry. Kevin didn't do it on purpose. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but a broken window can't be fixed. Just look at this. He'll go to the principal right now. You'll explain yourself to him. No, no, Ma, we'll fix everything. Enough. It's out of the question. Oh, Kevin, we're in trouble again because of you. Hurry up, come in. The principal has very little time. Why every time Kevin gets into trouble, he gets me. So, what exactly happened? This kid smashed the window with the ball. Such arrogance, kids. I told you you can't play outside playing zone. Sorry, Principal, Kevin didn't do it on purpose. He wanted to bring the ball back to the basketball court. Ah, not on purpose. If so, you should have picked it up with the hands, not kicking it with your foot right in the window. It is unacceptable. What role models are you for the first graders? You bear a great responsibility. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Uh-uh, idols and sponges, I hope you understand everything. You will clean up the pantry as a punishment. No, sir, please, we got it. This won't happen ever again. There are no excuses, young lady. You are going there now. Okay, it looks like we don't have a choice. Come on, Kevin. Kevin, you're sweeping the wrong way. Look how it should be. I'll show you just once. Uh, I think I got it. Hooray, we're finally finished. Yes, yeah, just a spider web left. Let's not waste time. Hurry up. Luckily, there's only one here. Excellent, everything is clean. On as well, we removed everything. The last thing is to finish the corner. The last two ones. Hooray, we're done. Oh no, it's almost midnight. Kevin, it's all because of you. First, we lost a lot of time because you didn't sweep well. And second, why did you even reach out for this ball? It wouldn't happen if the teachers weren't speaking about us. I don't want to be any role play model for the first graders. I wish I could become one of them so the teachers would leave me alone. Of course, I'd also like to become a child, but these are only my dreams. Besides, it's already night. It's time to go home. <sighs> my whole body hurts after yesterday's cleaning. Oh no, is it already 30? I'm late for school. I need to go. Sure, Kevin was exhausted yesterday and overslept too. I need to wake him up. I hope it's been a lesson for him and he will no longer play with the ball in the wrong place. Kevin, Kevin, come on, get up. We're late for school. Oh, Mia, you overslept too. Kevin, what happened to you? Why did you become a child? Me? Look at you. You look like a first grader now. What? How is it possible? I don't understand. Okay, Kevin, we don't have time to sort this out right now. We need to get to school. Come on, Kevin, after yesterday's trick, the teacher will definitely not be happy about our being late. Why do you want to do the hallway during classes? We're sorry, ma'am. We're very late because we've overslept. Oh, I think I got it. Are you two foreign exchange first graders who were supposed to come from Canada? Um, what? Yes, yes, we are. Right from Canada, ma'am. Nice to meet you, my dear. Come on, I'll show you a classroom. Here's a class. Come in and sit down the first desk so I can see you. Okay, ma'am. You should not recognize us. Morning, class. Morning, teacher. Today we have our first maths class. Today's topic is arithmetic basics. Let's start with the simplest questions. Could you tell me what is 2 plus 2? Oh, I know. It is 4. What small kids you are. Probably in Canada I've already learned this long time ago. Well, let's try something more difficult. What is 12 plus 8? I know, ma'am. 
another student from Canada, you surprise me. What is your answer, young lady? The answer is 20, ma'am. Correct. My goodness, how small you are. You are true prodigies. However, if it's easy, let's complicate the task. What is two times three? Uh, I think it's six. Yes, exactly, it's six. Again, this is the correct answer. Let's not stop. Seven times eight? Oh, that's a bit complicated. Uh, it is 56, yes. Absolutely right. Here is the bell. Thanks, everyone, for the lesson. You can go. Today, we have no more classes for first graders. Cameron, did you hear that? Yeah. Come on, let's go outside. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, ma'am. That's incredible. How could she mix us up with the first graders from Canada? I have no idea, but it seems she doesn't recognize us because we're children now. Anyway, this is good news. Now we have the whole day free. You have no idea how happy I am. It is cool to be the first grader. Yes, you're right. I've been working so hard on my studies for the last week and now I can finally relax and have a rest. Yo, midgets, handle me the ball. No, Kevin, don't you dare to do it again. Come on, me. I know what I'm doing. Kevin, it didn't end well last time. Oh, guys, you're both flew to us. Please be careful not to hurt yourself with the gloves. Yes, ma'am, thank you. You see, Mia, we are untouchable now. I told you the adults were big about us. Hand handle me the ball. Here you go. Thanks, kid. Let's play basketball sometime. Sure thing, we will. Kevin, come on, what are you doing in here? Now I need to think about what to do all day. Oh, me, I have such great plans. I'm already tired of having fun and playing all day. Can we go home now? It is not time to rest, Mia. Look, there's definitely something interesting. There's a light on. Do you think there's somebody in here? I think it's the builder's fireplace. Hmm, interesting. I've never been here before. Look, there's a fire. Let's go get warm. How light and warm in here, Kevin? Yeah, it was a great idea. Let's play hide and seek. Yes, it's a great idea. We just need to look around to understand where we can hide. Can you see the stairs to the second floor? It's too light in there. It would be easy to seek. <laughs> Kids, let's play hide and seek with me. No, sir, I'm sorry. I guess we gotta go. What? Alrighty. Don't you want us some Coca-Cola? No, no need to. We really have to go. Come on, Mia. It's just the Coca-Cola. What can possibly go wrong? You see? It's alright. Oh no! No! Kevin, turn around! Run, Mia! Oh god, Kevin, no! Where is Tucker and me? What do you need from us? We have no money or valuables. We are just first graders! <laughs> the first graders is the only thing I need! <sighs> Quit sleeping, lazy bones! Are you gonna help me? I've almost finished, though! Yes, Kevin, I'm sorry! What the hell do I dream about? 